Hopefully he plays something interesting and not something very boring. If he plays E5, I'm probably gonna be very upset. Okay. Magus is a good defender, but the problem actually, I would say for Magus are players who are better at defending very specifically myself and Fabiano. And the reason for that is because Magus just doesn't get that many bad positions. Um, I really shouldn't play the French, but I, I feel like playing it just because of all the drama that's going on. I've won two games with it. Well, like, why not? Thank you so much to Bam Bam for the three months. Ah. He wants to make a draw. Uh, I had a game against an IM from Miami many years ago. His name was Renier Gonzalez. And I actually did the same thing. I played Queen D5 because I was annoyed by the draw. Um, this obviously is garbage, but whatever. Let's go here, Bishop B7, maybe. I don't know how bad this really is, though. Like, it's not good, but... Go here, trade some B-shops. Okay, I, I actually, I've got a decent position here. Go D5, play, I, I actually have a very decent position. He's got an isolated pawn. This is actually very pleasant. All things considered, this is extremely pleasant. Of course I take, I'm gonna go Rook C8. I mean, I maybe I should have played Rook C8 first, but yeah, maybe I should have done this before trading, but whatever, who cares? Eh, whatever. You could have traded on 95. Probably that's a draw, so shouldn't complain too much. Goes Rook. Wait, what? That's a free juice. Okay, free pawn. I take those. Yeah, I take the free pawn. Now, I'm up a pawn here. I should win the game if I'm precise, but being precise has never been one of my great strengths in life. Um, I don't want to take. So if I don't want to take, I have to go E5. Only move E5. Finds knight b5, so he wants knight a7. How do I do this? No, I, I should be fine though. No, let's go here. I mean, there's this knight c6, which could be very annoying. Knight d6, I just go rook d4 and I'm fine. I couldn't play queen b8 first because then there was d6 and knight c7 with a pass pawn. Let's see what he does. Mmm. Am I not just better here with d4? Trade knight c4. This looks wrong, but I could be. Wait a second, wait a second. So knight c5, knight c5, knight f5, knight d3, rook d3, rook d3 is good. So knight c5, knight f5, knight d3, queen c3, takes, 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 takes. I'm up a pawn. Is that enough to win? Knight c5, knight f5, knight d3, queen c3, 91. Knight d4, knight f3, knight f3. It's probably enough, but is it the best? It's 3 1, so I can afford to use my time as well for anyone who's wondering why I'm moving so slowly. Um, c3. <sighs> I think I'm going to go for it. I hope this works. Yeah. I'm gonna go for it. I, I don't, let me make sure. Queen d4, I just take. Knight d4, I just take. Let's see what he does. I think this is okay. It goes queen a1. Looks very wrong, but. Okay, I can take and take, 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 and I'm up a pawn in an end game. I don't have any other options. So let's take. I could also, oh no, knight g2, there's knight c6. So I do, do I play the end game with ed4 or do I play, play an end game up a pawn and try to out, out skill him with a knight versus bishop or do I take on f3? No, I, th I think I got to try to out skill him in this end game. Got to try to out skill him. I mean, it's a knight versus bishop. I have an extra pawn. I've been a big advocate of the knight versus bishop endgame. That in blitz, it's a, a knight is worth so much more than a uh, than a b shop. 
Go here and rook d8 or rook b8 or something. Queen c7 maybe was a little bit better, actually. Originally, it was better because I have rook d8. Still, I'm, I'm one move away after g6 from being completely safe here. So it goes g3. So, of course, I play rook d8. Let's go. Mm, I guess I'll play g6. Doesn't really matter. Ah, maybe I... No, queen c3, rook e3. Okay. Go. I guess I'll just move my king up, guard everything. I'm starting, I think, to outplay him here, though. Let's go here. Yeah, I'm going to start pushing the P, and this is starting to get a little bit scary. Okay, we got the win. Okay, six and a half out of seven. It's looking like I'm going to play Magnus pretty soon. Okay, we have Renato versus V-Shape. What's going on? Okay, Tiger trying to defend here. Thanks so much to Twitch for the 30 bits. Thanks so much to Quetzalcoatl for the 100. Thanks so much to Blueprints for the 16. Red Dog, thank you to Fat Dwayne for the 10 months. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Time to unleash the Canis prep. Okay, yeah, it's actually looking like it's a forced pairing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, Magnus is not a better defender. Uh, Magnus is better at playing positions that are fairly dry with a very small advantage. That's what I've said. A little bit different. Yeah. Oh, I'm out. Um... Don't double question mark your... Oh, yeah, I, I had the mouse slip, right? If I have a mouse slip this game, I might actually scream. I'm going to be honest. If I, if I have a mouse slip here, I might actually scream. Thank you, Don B. McGee, for the 15. Uh, I won that game with black, so I assume that means I get white here. Okay, Bordnick and Dura Bailey. I think it's pretty much a force pairing. Let's see, Dura Bailey, where's the game? Oh, Bordnick won, so it's not a guarantee that I'm going to play Magnus here, actually. Not a guarantee. Not a guarantee. I think I will, but I'm not sure. I want to hear you win and scream. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, not guaranteed. Um, it's crazy that 16,000 people sit and watch you play chess. Yeah, but there are a lot of people who follow chess over the years. I mean, you know, when you think about how many people follow chess, something like... Um, it's somewhere in the hundreds of millions. I, I don't want to say it's 600 million because I think that's like just being wildly optimistic. Um, but I think the number of people who actually follow chess is uh, it, it's it's somewhere in the hundred. Let's just let, let's just put it at like I don't know 200 200 million for example. I mean 16,000 out of two, 200 million is not that high. Um, these are just have Patty Odor for the 17. Thank you so much to Twitch for the 50 bits and JWK for the 500 bits. 200 million no i'm actually being i think 200 million um i think 200 million is actually on the conservative side like if you look at actual pure amount of people who know what chess is or play chess it's probably somewhere around like 500 600 million but i'm using a very conservative number like i'm not going to use like the high end like the the, the high end estimate i think it's over shut brain job J jwk for the 32 months what do you think of magnus saying sparva's greatest i mean Kasparov's reign at 20... Kasparov's reign, when you think about the fact that he was as high-ranked as Magnus with players who were significantly lower, um, is pretty impressive. I know we all have a recency bias, and obviously, if they played a match, Magnus would beat Gary, but the game is where it is because of Gary's contribution. So it's very, um, very tricky. Did I see the Wild Project podcast with Anna? I don't know what Anna... I don't even know what Wild Project podcast is, so no. I, I actually have no idea what you're even referring to, honestly. So, yeah, sorry. Um... They're only 300k plus FIDE rate. Yeah, I'm not saying FIDE rated players. I, I'm not saying FIDE rated players. I'm saying the amount of players who are, who, who like people who play chess online specifically, not just over the board. Um, yeah, I, I would say that if I use a really conservative estimate, I would say 200 million. It's probably close to like 500 million. Anne Hathaway? Why would I care about what Anne Hathaway is doing? Why, why would I care about what Anne Hathaway is doing? I mean, she was awesome in Devil Wars Prada, but like, I, I, Am I missing something? I must be missing something. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, I should care. Okay, I'm sorry, you guys. That I, I don't, I don't pay attention to these things. I'm sorry. 
Oh, it's Anna Cramley. Oh, it's Anna Cramley. Okay, whatever, you guys. I, I don't know what you're saying. It's like, I, I'm out here just minding my business. You know, I'm just, just watching my basketball, getting ready to stream. And you guys are out here talking about like random stuff. Let's play E4. As, as, as Gary, not Gary, sorry. It's Bobby Fisher with a Pond to King 4, Best Buy test. Hopefully he plays something interesting and not something very boring. If he plays E5, I'm probably be very upset. Okay. Um. Okay, this course is not great. <laughs> Actually, you know what this is? This is what Magnus played against me back in the old days when he had the username on ICC, Andrino Giardino. This is the Andrino Giardino opening. You play like G6, H5, and then H7. I, I mean, this probably is bad, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Normally, Bishop E3 is what I should have played. Okay, let's go here, I guess. Have I already blundered? I think I've already made a slight mistake. <laughs> or have I? Wait, no. Okay, let's think. Go here. I'm going to have E5, maybe. Okay, I can play E5, but I'm just gonna take. Let's see what he does. This actually looks really bad for Magnus here, I think. I mean, I am much better if I play this correctly. Well, let's see if I can actually play a complete game. He goes D6. I mean, I do have C6 here. Um, there's also C takes D6. I'm just gonna play it. This might be wrong, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I think I've misplayed this though. Hmm. Okay, I gotta move, I gotta move. I'm too slow again. I'm doing exactly what he wants. I'm being too slow. Gotta move. Back to that, I'll just go like here. I guess a 93. I mean, I have 93, I also have H3, but I should be careful not talk too much. That, of course, was a mistake. Uh, what did I just do? I messed this up. H3 is a mistake. Hmm, misplayed this too. Should not have played H. Why didn't I just castle right away? So stupid. I'm definitely a little bit worse here. Oh, I put the bishop on the wrong square too. Oh my god, I was supposed to go to H2. Oh, I just blundered. Not paying attention. Yeah, now I just blund I'm gonna lose the game, so I just put the bishop on the wrong square. I had to put it on H2. Let me think though. Maybe I can still swindle somehow. Because there. I was better and then I messed this all up. Come on, move. You gotta move. Yeah, I really bungled this. Okay, but maybe I can still play this. Maybe, I don't know. But Rook F4 doesn't even threat. What is Rook F4? It doesn't threaten anything. That's stupid. And I've got this horrible bishop as well. Um. Yeah, I, I just messed this up. Let's 
still some chance to save it, but I got really careless. I don't even know where to put my bishop. I guess I'll put it here. I mean, it's still not clear, I guess. Like, okay, that's a blunder that hangs upon. Okay, I've, do I have a3? I'm gonna go for it. It was getting a little bit tricky suddenly. Yeah, Magus has misplayed this. I'm back in the game and I shouldn't be. Hmm. Bishop d6 or something? I think I do. Oh, Queen A3 is just winning. Oh my god, Queen A3 is just winning. What the heck? Oh my gosh, why did I do that? I met Queen A3 is just winning. What the heck? It's just a draw. It should be a draw. Oh, I suck at chess. I messed that up. This was winning. Wait, wait a second. Try, I'm going to try to get sneaky here with King H2. Just a draw. Ah. I should have won this game. I had Queen A3. I also should have lost earlier. So, I, I mean, I can't complain because I should have lost too. But, yeah, Queen A3 is winning, wasn't it? Yeah, Queen A3 is just winning because the bishop got stuck. Yeah. But I was also completely lost. To be fair, I mean, I was also completely busted. So, like, I can't really complain. Yeah, I mean, I was also completely lost. Like, in this position, yeah, I mean, it's minus three. So, I can't really, I can't really complain that much. But, eh, yeah, not so happy, but whatever. It's what it is. Okay, that means we are now going to be taking another break. Whoa, 20k watching. Holy Jesus. Um, okay, so let's see what the, what, the, uh, what the standings are. So I'm on seven, a bunch of other people. Thank you so much to Tran. Thank you so much to Asterix. Yeah. No, I mean, Queen A3, I think, was the only chance I had to win, though. So I had one chance to win. Um, I was completely lost. Yes, I was. Yeah, I was completely busted. But then again, I was also completely winning. It's all relative. Eh, whatever. It's chess. Who cares? Time for a sneaky ad break. Well, there'll probably be an ad break because it's round eight. Yeah. I played pretty well, though. I, I Once I got the worst position, I played very well. So I can't complain. Thanks so much to Hades Eternal for the 10 months. Thanks so much to Hades Eternal. Magnus is not streaming. No. So... All right, we're on seven out of eight. Um, this means we're going to be on the break in a second as we wind it, wind it into the home stretch. Completely busted after two bad moves in a row, but swindle in the final. Yes. Um, yeah, Title Tuesday, though, is a nightmare. Like, look at all these guys. Like, why does everybody play Title Tuesday? It's so, so annoying. Like, you've got Nihal Sarin. I mean, you've got Vokidov. You've got Kovalev. Got on seven out of eight. Impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hikaru, FYI, Gotham Chess would appreciate those games were decisive and not boring draws. Thank you, Vivaldi. For the... Yeah, exactly. A draw ruins the content. I know. Thank you. So, anyway. Yeah, Queen A3, I should have seen. I should have seen it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Queen yeah Queen a3 was winning as soon as I played Queen d5 I realized it too because then I tried Queen c4 try to try to hook the Bishop but I can't hook the Bishop because the King's on h7 not h8 um but it's all good it's all good okay um two games left in round number eight eyeball is beating me Traba and then we have Blitz King um okay that's over so we have one game it looks like and then we're gonna be on the next break Thanks for shot Papa Tharzev for the 42 months thanks for Papa Tharzev so all I read a one okay what else is new like I said what else is new um yeah anyway anywho 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 um all right so I I think I was much better out of that opening though against Magnus I just want to take a quick look at that opening um very briefly oh I'm not apparently I'm not better Uh, I was maybe maybe better with knight maybe better with knight of three queen of four bishop three maybe knight a four looks ridiculous yeah and here I was supposed to castle okay whatever doesn't matter um okay so anyway I think we are on the break right let's see are there any games going Muda Bahama this game this game's over right no this game's over all right we're on the six minute break so I'll be back in one second all right you guys we are back um yes thank you so much to firebrand x for 11 months thank you to big bros for the 15 thank you to trade for the prime also those of you guys who aren't aware Amazon actually owns Twitch surprisingly so if you guys do have your Amazon Prime you get that those uh prime video deals the prime shipping deals um and just the prime deals across the board make sure you connect your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime you can subscribe free to one channel single one single channel every single month uh that was very redundant um and take five bucks away from Jeff Bezos who's way too rich especially with the Amazon stock at 150 plus for no good reason other than people praying that interest rates go down out. um so make sure you take five books out of that prime prime subscription every single month and you give it to your favorite streamer so 60 months a year out of that hundred dollar plus prime subscription take it away from Jeff Bezos and give it to me your favorite streamer so make sure you do connect your prime it does not auto renew of course because Amazon and Twitch don't want you taking money away from them so it doesn't auto renew make sure that you do connect them though and you do use your primes for sure make sure that you do that um without a doubt thank you to Hollywood with the prime thank you to Coelho for the 28 month reason with prime thank you so much to Coelho zero appreciate it thank you um bro is dissing Jeff B I mean come on Amazon stock should not be 150 plus it was like literally 125 what a month ago and that's not the only thing I mean everything is going through the roof for no good reason thank you a little drag for the prime and slack for the three I mean everyone's expecting the markets to just be like Jerome Powell say I'm cutting interest rates to two percent tomorrow that's not happening um so anyway all right round number nine coming up in a second um let's see yeah there, there are no games no games going so yeah but if Bezos owns both and I guess you're taking dollars from Bezos to give back to Bezos if Bezos gets two bucks instead of five bucks like that's that's still a good thing he has too much money thank you Shady Grace for 21. I mean he's got way too much money let's be serious yeah do I have stock I do I bought I bought some stock at like 119 very specifically um a couple months back maybe more than a couple probably about six months ago so yeah um anyway waiting for the next game thank you to Wolfie Uncle for the prime but I mean just about everything has gone through even even stocks I'm not a big fan of like Intel like Intel went from like low 30s to what is it it's like high 46 39 like insane completely insane IBM another stock that like no one talks about went from like 140 to 165 so everything's gone through the roof dude thank you so much Joga Rock for the 29 months thank you Joga Rock appreciate it yeah you're underestimating how much money is in in CDs and um bonds and CDs just waiting to ro rotate thank you to Mr Star Supply I mean I I would I would think I would know because I I haven't been enjoying my five and a half percent thank you David DM for the 14. I mean you still could get 5.6 from JP Morgan I think about a month ago maybe maybe it was a little less than a month but you could still get you could still get 5.65 on the one year one year CDs thank you Louise for the prime appreciate it um where's my profile picture something broke on chess.com I don't know what broke but like if I click on my profile um yeah it's broke right yeah it's broke so something broke on chess some part of chess.com broke they cast me for the five gifted yeah yeah something broke something broke uh see like I try to go to my profile and it's it's broken <laughs> yeah 
Yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah. Thank you, Harry Morris. Appreciate it. Thanks for Harry Morris. Yeah. Okay, we're on seven and a half or seven out of eight, rather. Um, year to date portfolio up 16%. I mean, Mar NASDAQ's up what, 20 ish? So it's up a lot. It's up like 20 ish. Thank you to Rojans for the Prime. I mean, I'm not, I haven't been looking today. Um, let's see. If I was looking at something that I think is still undervalued, though, or not overvalued, again, this is not financial advice, but like Warren keeps buying more Occidental and, and like the, the high 50s. So it's it, it was at like 65. It's retraced down to like 58 ish. Now it's near 60 again. Thank you to Simple Dwarf. Thank you to Nimsovich. Um, so that's something that I'm following. But almost everything, everything like in uh, everything in everything in like tech has just gone bananas. Okay. Um, Okay, round number nine should be starting in a second, so let's get going. Superstar. All right, round number nine, we're playing Vugar Rasulov. Uh, should I play like Magus with A6? Probably not. A6 would be bad. A6 would be really bad. Don't feel too bad about what? Where is Yagiz Khan? Yagiz Khan Erdogmus is currently playing in Citrus. In, um, he's playing in Citrus, I believe. Oh, let's play this. Let's play the box. This is what I played against Cagnus Marlson. Um, I played this against Cagnus Marlson in the uh, Chess Champions Tour Grand Final. Okay, he's gonna play this one. Um, play Knight F6. Bishop D2 is not the move. I'm sure of that. Queen B6 maybe was also, eh, Queen B6 was maybe better, but who cares? Let's play e6. What's the big deal? Jesus Christ, superstar. Bishop d7 was fine too. Okay, let's just. Um, I think I'll just cast. Well, I could play a6 first, but who cares? Okay, now I'll play a6. Kick the bishop. Problem for me here is that this position is very flat. It's actually a very, it's a very flat position. It's very hard to win. I don't know if I like Bishop F4. Yeah, now I've got E5 maybe. Let's go E5, attack the Knight, Bishop D6. Position's improving quite a bit. It goes Knight B3, which is not what I expected either. Here. I actually really am starting to like my position. Rook D8 incoming. I mean, I should be okay here. I don't know if I'm like better, but I should be should be completely fine. I've got like Rook D8 somewhere. Knight A5 doesn't actually threaten anything though, does it? Wait a second. Wait a second. Guess I'll play rook a7. And I expected that. I mean, I can play rook d8. I can also go h5 somewhere. Okay, I should probably make a quick move though, like this maybe. I'll just take and play like b5 here. If takes, I take queen a5. Position seems pretty decent for me overall. Take. Okay, logical. Um, again, the problem with this position is very hard to win. I'll go here. There's a serious issue actually. Like I, I have a problem here with my. Um, he says, uh, maybe I can go H5, H4 somewhere too, but we'll see. That's down the road. He's also got like Rook B1 or something. It was 94, which I think, I thought that was slightly inaccurate. Or, or inaccurate? Yeah, inaccurate to move. Okay, I, I gotta move. Why am I so slow? I gotta move, you gotta move. Let's just trade.
Magus already won it. How did Magus already win again? What the heck is going on? How did he win his game? It's been like two and a half minutes. He must have been playing a real player. I think crazy man for the 30. I think he stormed for the 50. Jeez. Insane. Actually insane. Like, I'm like, I mean, he's got to be playing a real player. Like, he can't just be playing an NPC at this point. Um, so he takes, okay, wait. So wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Think. Go here. <laughs> I know you guys are going to like that NPC comment. Okay, queen a6, I have bishop c4, so I'm just fine. Yeah, let's just go for it. He's, he's kind of slow here, actually. Wait, but now can't I go here? I have bishop c4, he blundered. He blundered. I take. I've got bishop c4, he missed it. Yeah, when he takes, takes here, I have bishop c4, and I hit him with the uh, the double attack. Yeah, this, is, this should be GG, unless I'm missing something. This is GG, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's going to be GG. He goes there. Oh, wait, does he have a... He has some silly trick again? What the heck? No, he does have a silly trick. Maybe I go... <laughs> wait a second. I don't want to blunder here, so let me think. I mean, FG, FG, Queen E8 should be... Or wait, I've got Queen A7, too. Yeah, what am I doing? This should just be winning. Okay, now it's just a matter of technique. Let's go here, I guess. What am I doing? Wait a second. Why, why am I panicking, too? I'm literally just up a piece here. Go here. And I just blundered. <laughs> what the heck's wrong with me? Again, I just blunder for no reason. Like, ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god, what the heck? <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. I just blundered for no reason. Oh my gosh, he blundered the pawn. Oh man, I'm so lucky. Okay, now I probably win the game. Okay. Be very careful how I do this though. This should be winning, I think. I fixed the pawns on the dark squares. Go here. Yeah, now, now I'm winning. I'm pretty confident I just put the knight here. Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay, we got the win. Get to eight out of nine. Think of 49ers for the 20. Think of IL Breck for the prime. Yeah, get to eight points. Good win. Still two more to go. Still two Moss. Yay! Yeah. Um, thank you so much to Country Boss for the 14. I got very lucky. I mean, I was I was completely winning. And then I did this. I mean, like, just ridiculous. I mean, I was actually worse here, right? Queen A3, I'm worse. Yeah. Yikes. But we got the win. Nobody cares. Nihal blundered a piece on move 5 versus Carl's. Oh, Nihal blundered a piece on move 5? What? Wait, what? I mean, that's not a mouse slip. That's literally Nihal pre-moving E. Why is Nihal pre-moving on move five? 
Why is Nihal pre-moving E5? Come on. You cannot be serious. You cannot be serious. <laughs> I mean, I've got no words for that. I've just got no words. Uh, things are just less for the tier one. I mean, I have actually no words. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just literally no words for that. I've just got no words. No words whatsoever. Yay! Thanks for Johnny for the two months. Thanks for Johnny. Appreciate it. Yeah. The Hordes Gambit, it's really good, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, unsafe pre moves you don't make with increment, but also you don't make them on move five. You can make, you can make a pre move or something close to it, like late in the game, but not at the start. Um, I'm going to go E4 this time. I assume it's going to be Magus playing shield. Yeah. Okay, let's play the bishop's opening. Something quiet and slow and silly. Okay, he's using a lot of time. So if he's going to play a slow game, this means that I should probably move quickly, uh, move slow too. Um, six. I do believe Bishop G5 is a move here, but I, I believe Castles is also a move. Okay, so now let's think about this for a second. I don't want to play knight c3. I feel like queen e2 somewhere in here is a move. I also think you can take somewhere. I'm going to take. Yay! Sorry I'm being quiet, you guys, but I really want to... F this opening is really critical. Either I get everything I want, or I get nothing I want. Um, Knight c3 or bishop g... Bishop g5 looks... Re Knight c3 looks good, too. Wait, Knight c3... D4, me? Nah. Maybe. Mm. Now let's go for this. Not sure if this is good or not, but it's worth worth a shot. He goes bishop e6. But now I get knight c3. I think he has some problems with these pawns here, actually. If he goes bishop e7, he hangs the pawn. Let's see what he does. I think he's made a mistake here. It doesn't mean this is losing or anything, but this should be bad. D4, wow, did not expect that. Um, but knight e4, bishop b3. Knight e4, bishop e7, bishop e6, fe6. Knight g3, knight c6, eh. I could also just take, I guess. Takes, takes, knight e4, queen e7. Takes, takes, or queen e7. I'm using my time here because I feel like there's something. Actually, probably, I, actually, I should just go here and just take, probably. Okay, so... If I take, and I take, I mean, f5, knight, g3, knight, f5 looks horrible. Okay. Knight d6, knight d6, and knight h4 are also very good. Let me think here. Knight h4, f4, knight f, f4, knight g3, queen f6, knight g3, queen f6, and I don't have a good move, huh? How bizarre. How bizarre. Okay. Eh. Let me think. For I also have knight chief. Maybe knight chief five and queen h5 is also an idea here. Uh, knight chief five. Oh, I'm too slow. I'm too slow. You got to go. You got to go. You got to go. Um.
So that is a free pawn. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this. I don't know if this is right, but I'm gonna go for it. Could have traded and played knight h4 too, but I don't know. I know this is right. Thanks for strawberry honey for the four months. Thank you to eye powder. Thank you so much to Sarah Attack for the prime. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I, I've got enough time here to where my move should be pretty straightforward after this. Says that they don't really care about us. Okay, that's just a weird move. I think just. Oh, wait, Queen out there is E4 or something? Still looks good. Because I've got 96. This should be winning for me, unless I'm crazy. This 96 looks very problematic. It's also F4 to just break the structure. Okay, it goes there. I could have also gone for this, and eh, whatever, it's life. Okay, let's just, uh, I guess I'll break the structure. It should be winning. Here. Yeah, now I'm just winning because I've got B5. GG. All right. Good win. Good win. Very, very good win. I used my time extremely well that game. Let's watch Cagnus. Magnus is playing at shield. It's winning. Ah, oh, Magnus winning again. Frustrating. If only I'd beaten him that one game. Oh, wow. It's life. On the bright side, he's he's bulldozing everyone out of my path towards a clear second place. So I guess I shouldn't be too upset. I mean, on the one hand, but I mean, he's bulldozing everybody else. So like, I'm, I'm actually in clear, I'm in clear second now. So it's like, gotta beat Wesley in six moves. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Tiger V. Wait, you're joking, right? Or not? Wait, how do you spell his name? I always get it confused. It's Tiger V Sh L. Tiger V Sh L. Yape. Wait, what? Why is it not showing? Wait, why aren't his games showing up? Oh, chess.com might actually. Wait. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. Wait, what? What the heck is going, what? What is going on today, what? I'm sorry, I'm uh, I'm a little bit confused. What What is going on? Like, what is with these NPCs? Thank you JK Who for the 17, call me Llama. Thank you Mizan and hey, it's me. Hey, uh, hey, I'm nine lives with Prime. What the heck is going on? 
Okay, I'm on 9 out of 10. Like, I'm having a good event. Magnus is probably playing Bortnik. So if I can win and Magnus uh, doesn't win, I probably win the tournament. Good thing is I've got a great tiebreaker, too. So I'm one point clear of a lot of people here. The Twitter politics affected him? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Thank you so much to achieve second base for the Prime. Thank you, Chief second base. Appreciate it. Yeah. I haven't played Bornick, but has Bornick played Magnus? I don't think he's played Magnus either. So he's going to have to play Magnus, and I'm going to get someone on eight. I might just offer a draw just to guarantee second place. But we'll see. Which one is better, Noterbeck or Fabiano? I mean, Fabiano is a vastly superior player right now. Um, but, I mean, we'll see where Noterbeck's career goes. I, I think it's very hard to judge. Very hard to judge. Just win. No draws. Just win. No draws. Yeah, no draws. No draws. Just win. Yes. I think it's about Bongs and Halo for the Prime. I think it's Bongs and Halo. Appreciate it. So, yeah. I think it's about Method main Meme. Thank you, Deanna. It's for the Prime and Kuz of Freeze. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Friends. Um, why would they take a draw if they're on eight? That's actually true. Yeah, no one would want to take the draw. You're right. That's a good point. Okay. Do I think that Magnus can farm me for Elo? I mean, I think of the rating gap, I have great chances against him. Um, but but what I would say is that I think that Magnus is in a very dangerous zone, just like I am. I think I like not where it's like. You're, you're not going to find many weak players above 2,900. There are not many weak players above that. Thank you, Taser, for the tier one. So it's it's very tough because when Magnus starts playing somebody, like, as an example, like, um, Vokidov here, Shield for plus two, he's not going to beat, he's not going to beat him by a 7-1 margin. He's not. Um, So it's, it's actually very, very tough. Yeah. Yeah. So, thank you about Andrews Guile for the seven months. Thank you so much to Andrews Guile. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, player. Yeah, I have 29. Yeah, he needs to win every game, just like I did too. But the problem is it's very difficult. Yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, it's not weak players. That's the thing. Like, he, there just aren't enough players to play against. That's the problem. Like, it, it's like when you start playing 3,000 plus players who are very good at plus three a game, you're not going to win enough games generally. What's wrong with Daniel today? I don't know how Dan is doing. I haven't been following. So, yeah. 21.5k viewers. Eh, it's just chess, you guys. Yeah. 20 people, 20,000 people just watching. What? Yes. Thank you, you guys. Appreciate it. So, yeah. We're having a blast today. We're having a good time. Um, title Tuesday, best day of the week. Or Tuesday is the best day of the week. Yeah. Kramnik's not going to talk about Magnus's crazy performance. <laughs> he should, but he, he, he can't. He can't. All right, so, um, you drink Prime? I mean, they sent me some free stuff, so I figured I'd drink it, but whatever, who cares? Yeah. Okay, here we go, round 11. I'm playing Nihal on eight. So I play a good game, I can win. I mean, I can try to play for a draw. I mean, Bordnick's playing Magnus, right? Yeah, Bordnick's playing Magnus, so let's, yeah. I think you have Bertle for 32 months. A3. Okay, let's see. Um, I believe A3 G6 is the best. I believe G6 and the Accelerated Dragon with a Pawn and A3 is supposed to be the best approach. Oh, is he going to play a Wing Gambit here with like B4 somewhere? He probably is. Knowing how Nihal plays chess, I expect some kind of wingish Gambit. So I'm just going to play solid here. Could go E5. Um... I mean, E6 is playable. I Actually, you know what I should do? I should not think too much, though. Play A6, B5, maybe. Let's play E6 here. Expected that. Um, what do I want to do? I guess I'll go Queen C7. Um, I don't actually know why I did this. Why did I do this? Wait, why did I... Actually, legitimately, why did I play like this? Ahem. <clears throat> A B4 somewhere. I'm gonna go Rook B and B4 just to open. 
I don't even know if I've been I don't even know if Rook before is right, but I'm gonna do it anyway. A queen a5 here. I mean I also have just like e5 or some silly stuff. I guess I'll go queen b8 at the pawn. Queen e5. I think a5 makes some sense here. Trying to activate the bishop, maybe. Is h4 logical? Um, if I go h6, h5, g5. I don't know if it works, but I'm gonna give I'm gonna give him h5, g5, and see if he can do something. Maybe I just play knight e5 actually, or bishop a6. Okay, I'm thinking I'm actually thinking way too long though. I'm legitimately thinking too long here. Um, which knight do I want to put there? I'll go put this knight here. I'm I'm way too slow this game. I'm actually moving extremely slow, and it's, it might hurt me down the road if I'm not really really precise. I don't know which I don't know which knight I should have put, but this knight at least guards the two pawns. It's like bishop a6. I shouldn't really be worse here, but I also probably am not better either. Oh great, I blundered. Why did I do that? Ridiculous. So stupid by me. I'm still kind of okay. I should be able to draw this because I also have C4 now. I expected that. I can play h5. I think I should. Just to stop this knight g4 nastiness. It was g4, which is interesting. Um, can I play this? Still c4, still a4, still queen d6. So I'll go here, maybe Rook D7 somewhere. Here. Be very careful how I play this. I mean, you can go queen f3 and it's a draw, but whatever. Knight c4, queen e5, king g8, that should be fine. He's thinking about it. I don't think it works because I have rook b2. Yeah, it doesn't work. I mean, I don't really want to make a draw here, but... Is there a way to play on? Can I go f but why? But why? What's happening in board next game? Oh, Magnus already. Oh, Magnus already won. Oh no, Magnus drew. So, ah, so do I go for it? I want to go for it, but what does go for it even mean here? There's no. There's no actual way to go for it. No, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I can play Queen C7, but what am I even aiming for? He just waits. Like he's just waiting with Queen F6. Did I have something earlier is the question. Was I ever better? Bishop a6 here and I was better. Uh, I should play bishop a6 first. I mean, I don't I don't know if I should have gone. Actually, you know what? I you know what? It was a mistake not going for it, and I'll tell you why it was a mistake. It was a mistake because Bordnik's tiebreaker is so much worse than 
Yeah, these guys both have worse tiebreakers, so I should have gone for it. And even if I lose, it doesn't matter because I still get second. That was actually a mistake. Because 57.5 versus 62, I would have actually gotten second anyway, even if I lost. So I should have actually played F6 and tried to keep the game going, I think. But is this actually okay for me? F6, F4. I mean, it's it's okay, but it's not wonderful. I think you have Canal Roy off for two months in Candy Law. Oh, wait, but Nihal... Oh, wait, but... Ni no, no, sorry. Nihal would have been on... Ni oh, Nihal would have been on nine, and I actually... No, 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 because then Nihal would have had... Tyberg would have been so close that he would have passed me. So never mind. No, Nihal would have won then, I think. 